me. Watch out! Whoever you are, you just missed your chance. Now it's my turn. Fredrickson? Drop your weapon and surrender! Next time you won't be so lucky. In the end, there can be only one, and that will be me. <laughs> Who was that, Ramirez? You shouted something. Did you recognize him? Yes, he's a jetter. He lives on the north coast. After the great catastrophe, he came across the Saragota, an enormous oil tanker, and set up a laboratory there. Fredrickson was a student of genetics, the science of heredity. The oil contained in the hold of the ship provided fuel to keep the refrigerators functioning. Thanks to the cold, he could also conserve cells alive, study the transmission of the genes to understand the evolution of species. But now he has betrayed the Jetter's oath, and it's up to me to confront him. I'm coming with you. Not this time, Quentin. You know as well as I do that this is my mission, not yours. But I'm the one he was trying to kill. I should be the one to challenge him. No, Highlander. By choosing to attack you, Fredrickson became a traitor. And it is my duty to ensure justice among the Jetters. I can't waste any more time arguing. You and Clyde must wait here. I won't let you confront this traitor alone, Ramirez. I swore to lay down my arms forever. But I cannot ignore Fredrickson's attack. Not when the future of humanity is at stake. Someone has gotten inside the security boundary. <gasps> Ramirez, is that you? Not trying to give me the slip by any chance, Fredrickson. What do you mean, my friend? Don't play games, Fredrickson. You tried to kill the Highlander. Now you'll have to pay for it. Defend yourself, traitor! No, no, that wasn't me. I haven't taken a step out of this laboratory for days. Look, I, I can explain, Ramirez. Just give me a chance. No stalling. I recognized your face, Fredrickson. I saw it as clear as I do now. Defend yourself, if you can. 
Ramirez is not going to be too happy when he sees us. I can't just sit there and do nothing but wait. He'll have to understand. Come on, keep climbing. Fighting. This way! <laughs> but it wasn't me you saw. What you saw was a double. A another me, a being with my likeness. No more lies, Fredrickson. Try at least to die with honor. Look, I know it sounds incredible, Ramirez, but you're wrong. Please, I beg you! <laughs> Stop! There is a sure way to know if he's innocent. Quentin! You! Listen, Ramirez. The night he attacked me, I wounded him on the wrist. Even if he is an immortal, there should still be a scar. Immortal or not, it's him. He's going to get a bigger scar. Wait, Ramirez. Give him a chance. Show me your wrists. See for yourself, my friend. Not a mark. But I saw your face, Fredrickson. I don't understand. What's happening? I can explain everything, Ramirez. Everything. There's the answer. He's gotten away. Who's gotten away? Who's he? The clone, Ramirez. My genetic double. A clone? I didn't think that was possible. Not only possible, Ramirez. Actual. Come with me. As a geneticist, I felt it was my duty to preserve certain species that had existed before the Great Catastrophe. I perfected my science, and then one day I had the mad idea of using my discoveries to create a double of myself. A clone, made with my own cells. At the very least, my clone could be used to deceive Cortan, who was following me incessantly. But I failed. I, I created a clone, all right. Instead of being like me, he became the opposite. He became evil. He had only one thought in his head, to become the last of the immortals. And since he hadn't taken any oaths, my only recourse was to freeze him in stasis until I, I could find the genetic solution to the problem. But I didn't realize that my clone would also be immortal. Naturally, the cold would have no sustaining effect on his body. A dangerous experiment, Fredrickson. You should have known better. Now we have to find your double and eliminate him before he eliminates us. Good luck, my friends. Why can't we go with them? You'll be safer here. And I can't leave my Noah's Ark alone without someone to guard it. I'll need you and Gaul to help me take care of the animals, if you think you can. Of course I can. I take care of Quentin and Ramirez, don't I? But not Gaul. He might scare them. Where do we start? At the plane wreck. With a little luck, we'll find some clues to help us trace him. He came back. He spent the night here. Footprints! He went in that direction. We'll get him. Let's go.
I don't get it. The tracks suddenly turn north. Is he trying to throw us off his track? Maybe he knew that we would come back here. Well, he went back to the Saragota. Redrickson. He's in trouble. the security system here, they wouldn't set it off. There can be only one Fredrickson! I've taken your place until it's too late for him to do anything about it. <laughs> Goodbye, Doctor. <laughs> Look! The beach! If I'm killed, they'll see the effects right away. They'll know it was you, and that'll be the end of your plan. Everything all right? The clone should be here. His tracks lead straight to the Saragota. He tried to kill me. We fought, but he, he escaped again. He must still be on board. We'll get him, Ramirez. Wait! I gave life to this monster. It's up to me to correct my mistake. But first, I, I want to share my knowledge with Quentin. <gasps> we must perform the quickening right away, in case I don't come out of this battle alive. Are you sure? Perhaps this is not the right. What's the matter with you, Gull? Will you calm down? Go and take a walk. Go on. Quentin McLeod! On the oath sworn by the Jeditors. Quick, Ramirez! My sword! It's the clone! <laughs> I'll be the last one! <laughs> Catch! <laughs> <laughs> Ah! 
There can be only one, all right, but it won't be you. You're finished, Highlander! Now we have to find Fredrickson. And quickly! Gall knows where he is, don't you, Gall? <laughs> oh. Oh. What happened to him? Liquid air. He's unconscious. We've got to get him out of there. From now on, you have nothing to fear from your double. But what will you do? I'll go on with my research. The conservation of ancient species. Although I don't plan to make any more clones. Maybe someday all these animals will be able to reproduce freely and repopulate the Earth. Let's hope so, Quentin. Great idea! They're so cute! Don't you think so, Gaul? We'd best be on our way, Fredrickson. Fredrickson. It's time for you to honor the oath you took. Of course. Quentin McLeod, I know that you will put to good use the knowledge I'm going to share with you. Quentin McLeod, on the oath sworn by the Jeditors, I today pass on to you my knowledge of the science of genetics. Share!